man, you come straight out of a cone. I just want to get the badge because I want to say, if yes. you're calling that the, <laughs> if you're calling Fast and Furious the bootleg version of the Avengers, does that make the Expendables X Men? <laughs> no, I ain't gonna lie though. E- Expendables are mystery men. I ain't gonna front. Okay, yeah, yeah. they the mystery men. And mystery men was hard. Hey, <laughs> I'm just fucking nobody say mystery men had a lot of potential. It's just. It came out during a time nobody really knew what to do with superhero movies. But Fair. they did a fantastic job mm-hmm. as much as they could. And I wouldn't have minded a sequel if I'm just being honest. Listen here. This is why I, I don't know I, if I, I can know, do I'm the only one. I'm the only one. I'm I'm say, one, one, was was cool. one was cool. I don't know if I need a second one. This is why we need the Wayans to get back into the spoof game. Because here's what I really want. I, I One, I need Blank Man and Meteor Man to have a team up some way. And uh, this, like I said, I know they tried to do another superhero movie, but that wasn't the Waynes. If the Waynes did it with like black superhero spoofed, bro, and we do like an end game type of like so, a whole universe. So I, ha- so I actually, me and my brother actually did come up with this. And so I'm probably going to cut this out, but I'm, I'm going to say it. <laughs> no, 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 because once I say it, y'all going to say it like, yo, cut this out. So we actually came up with a thing, which was basically their children. So it was the young black spoof Avengers. So oh. you had Meteor Man Legacy, which was going to be based off of his son who inherited his power through his DNA. And the person that he takes on is the new person of the Golden Lords who happens to be his girlfriend. But they don't know that they're fighting each other and stuff as she's trying to bring back the Golden Lords and he's trying to fight to become this hero. Now, what makes it shown is in this movie, Meteor Man is technically the villain. And that's how she gets to become kind of the hero because she spends it to go like, yo, you y'all weren't about to do with superpowers who fucks up buildings, who does all of this stuff and does not care about his community. Meanwhile, I'm only militarizing this stuff to protect my hood as my father had did at one point. Right, And then everybody starts getting behind her because she's not really doing it with force. She's not there just so, again, it's like, but what is your in-game type shit? And she's really making headway. So you have that part. Then you have Blank Man. That would be interesting. Yeah. Yeah. And so then you have Blank Man's legacy, which is not not Damon, but uh, David Allen Greer's son. Yeah. Becomes Blank Man. And stuff. He becomes Blank Man, and um, their nephew is basically the one that's gonna help him out. And so they like, re- and so again too, like now it gets to the point where you get to actually see what they can do with a tad bit of money. Because the only thing I didn't like about Blank Man was they didn't show the hustler side of us. No, they didn't. And that's what I want. And that's what I want to see in this new one. So it's just like, yo, Ooh. this dude really get. A real blank man suit. Like he get one of his homegirls to stitch yeah. his stuff up. They lace everything up. Kind of how you saw like Daredevil get his suit. That's how you see blank man get his suit. Yeah. And stuff. And you see him actually go crime fight, but it's still funny. Like it's not yeah. him taking on like no super villains. Oh, yeah, it is still, him still, still trying to take some, down big corporations. Yeah, you still gotta have some funny, but here's your Superman character. Because I had to double check, make sure it wasn't a part. You bring in Hancock. You bring in Hancock. <laughs> I would do that. Because you need a Superman style character. I would bring in Hancock. You bring I in would Hancock. Bring in Hancock. <laughs> Hancock would be dope as fuck. Hancock would be dope as fuck. I didn't hope they would have made a second one. I did like those. They were supposed to. I forgot something. Now that happened. is one. So yeah. I guess that's what we can ask while we're doing like our little banter. So for those that don't know, too, like um, as Geek Set has already said, um, due to the SAG strike and the Writers Guild strike, um, you know, they will not be doing any reviews about up movie, you know, upcoming movies, streaming things, of course, all of that stuff that's going down. And so in the same solidarity, Strat of a comic book is doing the same. So we will not be talking about anything kind of new until all of this gets situated. We are with the SAG folks. We are with the uh, Screenwriters Guild because I feel like Black Dynamite, man, the game is at an all time low. <laughs> <laughs> right, man. actors ain't do actors ain't booking roles, man. Writers ain't writing scripts. <laughs> this AI is running wild. AI is running wild, baby. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> but yo, but what sequel? So we were talking about Hancock that should have got a sequel. Can y'all think of any other movies like you know from the past that should have got a sequel and didn't get one? Ooh. Damn, that's tough. Um, so it, and this is not necessarily a superhero movie, but it has like the geeky aspects of it. Um, it doesn't have to be. Have to yeah, be yeah I, be just I would I wouldn't have been mad if they would have continued Inception because there was a lot to dive deep into it. And I get it. Like the way that they ended, it was perfect because it's like it's still a wait, was that a dream? Was this a, like wait, wh- where were we at? Right. But it was like there's so much more in that world that I wouldn't have been mad. Hell, even if they would have given us a different medium of it, let's say if they went into a graphic novel, but just more of that inception, that concept of that and everything like that world was really amazing. And, you know, what I'm saying yeah. like I would have definitely been OK with that. It's um, funny. You, but yeah. no, you, you, you was telling us about your inception, too. Yes. Inception, too. So here, here was my idea for inception, too. Um, Leonardo is back. And so what they need is they need help and find us some information that has to do with a political debacle that is going down right now. Uh, pretty much um, if they do not do another inception and they are ordered by uh, pretty much this now comes from the U.N. and the United Nations and stuff. And yeah. so they're aware of what inception is. And so they actually need them to do this. And so they need the best team to be able to do this inception. And they know they need Leonardo DiCaprio. So they bring him in right. with a whole new team. And then like two of his favorites, like Tom Hardy and then uh, uh, Joseph Gordon-Levitt comes <laughs> back. But the rest of them are like completely new people. And they show you these different new uh, ways that they've been able to manage inception and how to build dreams. The reason why this is such a big issue is because they are going to have to plant Inception into one of the biggest cartel owners who's in a coma. And it's been in a coma for three years. Now, if you remember Inception, when you sleep, your subconscious is off the fucking chain. So if you're in a coma, (laughs) you're going crazy. Not only do they have to battle his subconscious, but they have to go five levels down of dreaming okay, in so order to get this information they need out of him. How many levels did they go in the first one? Wasn't it like four or three? Three. 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 Ooh, so like they wouldn't even know about that. Because remember, Limbo, Limbo yeah. was a different thing. So that wasn't a level. Yeah. That was just there. So they You're only right. went to three. And they said, the further you go, the more you get lost. So it's like they have to go to five because of the fact that he knows and he's hidden that information down there. And they have to basically fight their way through, trick him and his subconscious to get them down there to get the information and get out of the five dreams, which is the ultimate kick that you have to see them create before they go in. Bro, and then imagine what's in a mafia boss's mind in a cold. Yo, exactly. You don't want to see. That's what's in that mind. A lot of stuff that you are like, I don't need to be there. That's gonna be yeah, a whole man. lot of trauma. Whole lot of trauma. Chris <laughs> Nolan, if you if you watching this, or if any of you bastards watching this that make this movie, and I see it. You y'all see where it happened? <laughs> Don't let me be Sophia Stewart. Don't let them do me how they did her. And with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Straight Out of a Comic Book. This is a very special edition. This is the Straight Out of a Comic Book Geek Set Podcast. Cross over. Hey. We on our Disney hey. shit. Hey. 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 Oh. Let me change. <laughs> <laughs> is that a wake up call? What is that? <laughs> nah. It used to say loop with a little check mark. Now they made it the little loop icon. I don't need nobody tell StreamYard to do that. <laughs> or don't update us to tell us, hey, we've changed some things. <laughs> But man, it would not be Geek Set Fashion if I didn't allow them to do their intro as well. So, fellas, you have the stage. Please give us that traditional Geek Set yeah. intro. All right, all right, all right. Welcome back to Straight Out of a Comic Book, the Geek Set Edition. I'm your boy Deuces. With me, I got my man Bacardi Sensei. What's good, everybody? How are we doing today? That's been doing great. And as always, I got my man Ditch. What is happening, people? What is happening, people? And we are special guests with my guy, 
Will Ferrell the anomaly. <laughs> Big Willie. <laughs> Big Willie P. <laughs> Big Willie P, man. <laughs> Big Willie P. <laughs> yeah, man, we got a lot to talk about today. Um, yeah. we were just we were just kind of catching the breeze. So if you managed to see that at the beginning, I don't know why I said that because I'm editing it. So of course you're gonna see it because I'm <laughs> Look at that. Uh, <laughs> but we were just kind of talking about um sequels. movies that should have gotten sequels. But didn't get them. So Deuce had already thrown out there with Inception. And, you know, I think we all agreed Inception did need a sequel. Another one I'm going to throw out there. True Lies. True Lies with Arnold Schwarzenegger deserved a sequel. Okay. Okay. Yes. I think so. What? I was not mad. I would have loved to have seen him and Jamie Curtis on a mission. (laughs) <laughs> I mean, I, that's also, I feel like we got that with uh, with Mr. and Mrs. Smith, though. I feel like that's like the evolved true lies. Yeah, you got to, you know what? I, I can't even be mad at that. You got to, you have a valid point with them, Carter. We did get that. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. and, we, and that was great. That's what you wanted. Like, that was great. Jamie, yeah. Lee, wouldn't, Jamie Lee wouldn't have did what Angelina was all fam. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, no, disrespect Jamie. Jamie. Like, we, we, Jamie. Yeah, see, Angel. we. We gotta Jamie, stop this. Like, look, fam, Jamie got action, but like, you, I ain't really seen her jumping out. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> I ain't really seen her getting down. That she do a lot of running. She she get the fuck up out of there. You know what I'm saying? But if but she I, if it, if it would have happened in 95, 96, so you basing it off of now, Jamie Lee. Um, back then, Jamie yeah, what, Lee. What was she? In, what was she in around that time? I bet she was doing some action stuff. <laughs> yeah, you see, you see that body. You seen that body. <laughs> I mean, that body game. was going crazy, but that body was workout body. That was when she was still dancing with uh. With <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> that was fitness aerobics body. Nigga. I mean, we can say the same thing about Angelina. Like we didn't think of her like that till Tomb Raider came out, and we were just yeah. like, "Oh, yeah. she can get down." No, okay, I, was Tomb Raider the first one? I feel like she was in. You know, she was in going. She oh, was no. doing action. What was, what, what like. else has she done before that? That was really big action. What the fuck? Uh, Let me see. I'm about to look it up. Because I don't know if Tomb Raider came first. If Tomb Raider came first, then she pretty much started her action career after Tomb Raider. I, I thought almost she was that. In a lot of I thought it was that too. I thought I thought Tomb Raider was her her emergence to action. If that was it, then we can say that then. Because yeah, no, I don't even know what the fuck she was doing before Tomb Raider. Um, it was, was like a lot, a lot of like period pieces and like you know them dramas and like being crazy and stuff like that. Oh. I ain't giving. I ain't giving. Going to sixty seconds. A lot of action. Yeah, yeah I'm about to say. Yeah, Tomb Raider yeah. definitely the first one. Yeah, yeah. Tomb Raider the first one because she was like in True Woman, Gaia, Without mm-hmm. Evidence, Hackers, and stuff Never like that. Of like the a lot of drama. Yeah, yeah. Drama. Oh, yeah, Bone yeah, that I was drama. Yeah, that, was like drama. that was drama. That was like a police drama. That was like thriller. But that was during the time though. Like, so I, I feel like Angelina pretty much came in when action was because during that time when it was like Bone Collector and all that, those were all kind of those were movies were ride during that time bone collector and like morgan freeman and niggas was eating during that time All that yeah time. like like, <laughs> 90, like, like 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 98 99 yeah you're right yeah. It, was real. It, was nothing but, it was nothing but black detectives and white assistants fam so <laughs> like, like, like literally bro you know what else it was that was the dvds that had the paper Cover that snap with the little black part that snapped on the DVD. <laughs> that hey, was that had, era of the movies. We had plenty of those. That was that was the movies. That, that was, was. Deep cover. <laughs> That Lady was the ones where you that was there during that time where you go and you see like a gym in like fucking uh like the five dollar bin at Walmart or something like that. You like, oh shit, they got held up in this bitch. Like, yep. <laughs> that, was the, up, that was the era with DVDs, they were starting to put special features. I thought yep. that was, I thought that was cutting edge technology. Is this the replacement killers? Hold on. Right. Said, oh. They got motion. Like, motion. Got and hey, that's funny now that you realize we like. Niggas had boatloads of content. They was like, bro, let's throw that shit on the DVD. Right. <laughs> right. Like, when you realize how you do content now, like, what you do with the extra content. Yeah. Like, yep. <laughs> I remember that with the bootleg, man. That man be like, yo, man, hey, bro, I, I got these new DVDs, bro. I got, no. I at least can get you three movies on here. Bro, hey, when they when they was movies. when they got when they were able to start getting you multiple movies, they'll start giving you like pure DVD quality. <laughs> bro, that was that was a new game. That was a whole new game. It, yeah, it was it, it was and it, it wasn't no better when they could show you too when they got the DVD, like look, nigga, trust me. Like they already got the <laughs> <little> <laughs> DVD <laughs> <out>. <laughs> like, got the, like look at this, boy, look at this. It was funny because they really was advertised. They was just like, look how crisp it is. You hear that sound? You hear that like, sound, you hear that sound right? Bro. 
That ain't it, that ain't the theater. That ain't the theater yeah. record. Right, right. bro. It's, it's, it's like the nigga selling the, the miracle, uh, the miracle juice. It's like yeah. you know what I'm saying. I, let me show you. Like I got my DVD player. I got like, you know what I'm saying. Let me like you had a whole catalog. That, hey, it'd be funny because they give you that big ass list, <laughs> and while you scanning over, they always point their finger by the X rated shit. Like if you want the freaky shit, it's over here. Like you get know <laughs> <laughs> that action movie, but you pull it out. Like if you want the freaky shit, it's on this side right here. Like that, that was the one that over came on your with... ass. It came on the gold DVD <laughs> in the purple case where you were like, okay, no, 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 that's that's these over here. These, yeah. You get the regular jewel cases with the movies. You want the, gold <laughs> the clear that's the one with a little snap. <laughs> hey, so, hey, low key, they may be peak salesmen because the confidence level of, hey, well, I ain't got look, whatever you need though. If I ain't got it, I can get it. I like, you gonna be here yeah. next week? You, like nigga, they give be me your on number, it. bro. Like give <laughs> me your number. They do. And to the fact, though, if it got to a point where it's too disrespectful, because I, like, I do know this, but I always bring it up when the bootleg man came up, and I have a very big gripe. I don't know who you are out there. I don't know if you watch this show or not, but you know who you are. Whoever sold my father that bootleg Billy D. Will, uh, what it was, uh, uh, Billy, what, what, what is her name? Billy Holiday movie that's on Hulu. You ain't shit. All right. You ain't shit. This is yo, yo, my dad has Hulu. I bought, them, bro. I brought them a TV that has Hulu. Do you know this man does not watch the Billy Holiday movie that's on Hulu? He watches the bootleg version. He'd be like, "Yo, yo, man, this you know this is my shit, right?" I'm like. What I'm trying to figure out <laughs> how he got somebody to walk across the screen like this bitch played in the theater. Oh, <laughs> the this is heinous. That is heinous, dog. Some nigga did that theater feel, fam. Like some nigga did this shit in the theater in the video. I'm like, oh, this is... came this came straight to Hulu. Hold the fuck up. How does Look nigga do that. this? Wait a minute. Uh, <laughs> that's, 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 that's that's a for a DVD is crazy. That's a bootleg man that want to keep. He want to. He want to bring you back to the essence of true bootleg. He like. Nah, nah, nah. He's like, I gotta bring you back to the core of what a uh, what a bootleg is. You gotta have a nigga walk through. You got people talking about bootlegs back in my day. Dog. A nigga who giving you a bootleg a bootleg in this day that still feels like it's back in the day. That's a that is a gem. You know what I'm saying? That man is that is art, bro. Is That's it? Art. Art. Yes, it, yo, it I, is. I, I, I it feel is. like my man is keeping him keeping him in business. I feel right. like yo, like oh, yeah. he, he, he probably geeks like, oh yes, he here today. But, <laughs> but that's that's the same thing. What's funny is like we see we see people who skip today's technology and still do the old way. Because there's how many times have you seen a video game screenshot? It's somebody's phone picture. And it's like, nigga, the games now have it where you can take an actual live screenshot screen, of the screen. Hey, like, man, you don't man, don't, don't, hey, 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 Deuce, don't put that spotlight on me like that, dog. Don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> also, I ain't gonna hold you. How quick I need to get this picture out. My phone might, might take that picture. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't fit to make me feel stupid right. for doing this in my I, TV. Okay? I, 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 I ain't gonna hold right. you. Yeah, so that shit ain't coming fast enough. I need, I need people, to, I need people yeah. to see this now. Like, they know, you want they me to no snap shit. it, download it, right. send it to yeah. my email, about that. download it again? <laughs> the gaming computer be fucked up, but they still ain't got a share a share straight to socials yet. They yes, they shit. do. Oh, no, like, I don't know about the computer, but PlayStation, dude, that's how I do all mine. I send it straight. I'm, I, I automatically tweet it out, and I just go to the app, download it, and then I was there. No, so you, you got to do extra. You got to use I'm the controller, about, like, PlayStation with your information. That's too much. I'm you, oh, yeah, I'm talking about busting nigga, like, busting nigga head in, and immediately, like, bro, that shit's already on the ground. You didn't even realize it. I already, they, the word already started. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, you need that. I need that. Of, <laughs> like, you need that kind of entertainers talk shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, you didn't even have a chance to say, I'm sorry. That shit's already on the internet. Like, everybody <laughs> You get your ass beat. You know what I'm saying? Yo, like, I, I promise you that would call that suicide rate would go up. You, you already know somebody gonna take you know, it too far. But like you a trash every, ass nigga, it's on the gram already. With you on, tagged on sports, a sports hey, that is heinous. That is. Is. Can you imagine getting dubbed on in 2K in like the first like 15, like 12 minutes? And they're like, You're already on the internet, bro. Get out of here. Get out of here. Somebody hey, come and tap you. It's online. It's online. It's online. You, go. you got to go. Like, no, keep it going. Like, nope, you already on the line. They already saw you got blown out. Go. That's the new, Log off. That's the new, Log that's off. new uh, 21 rule. Yeah. When, when it hit the online, you got to go. 
You gotta go. It's already on the net, bro. Like, <laughs> just go online. Like, tags you and everything. You gonna start seeing the notifications. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> I'm surprised they don't have that though. Like that's, that's toxic. That's, that's real toxic. That's, you know yeah, that's why. That's, <laughs> which is why I'm surprised like, they don't have it. Call of Duty, crazy headshots immediately on the net, bro. Like, I, but boy, bro, boy, bro. Uh, Will imagine the fleet. And we could just tweet out those clips, oh, those clips on GTA, dog. <laughs> See, that's why we don't. That's why we don't need it because then we're gonna get labeled as terrorists. That's why we, <laughs> we are ridiculous in that game. For, uh, for those the internet, bro. Yeah, for those that don't it know, would, it me, would definitely be an overflow. Like gaming community would overflow the internet. Yeah. It'd be, that's all you would see. It's small oh, yeah. little. I wouldn't be mad at it though. <laughs> like. <laughs> It's all. It, it, it almost also. It almost will make you not want to be a good person. It so, cause like, because here's the thing. I remember when words with friends became a thing, right? This is how this is how it was, right? And we used to, well, I used to play against people that I know. And then I had that comic book creator app. So once I beat you in words with friends, I'm on your social media, and I will make a short comic about you challenging me to word with friends, and then me me blowing you out, and then I'll post it on the timeline. Bro, it got, got to the point where niggas didn't want to play word with friends with me no more. You know, I wouldn't either. You go, you OC. Yeah, bro. you was already. You was. Already, I, thought yeah. you, I thought this was you about, about you turning into like a bully. You was already a bully. You was already. Yeah. yeah you, <laughs> took, you just got power. Is what you say. Like, nigga, you took my loss to the editing room. Nigga, fuck you. Right. Like, like, That's what we do. You. You like, don't record my L. Yeah, like I'm talking about instant grat instant gratification, bro. You putting in the effort. I don't want to. I don't want to play with you either, bro. Like. like <laughs> I knew not to take it too far when they had the regular domino game and you could play with other people, but you could write shit back to them. I was like, <laughs> I don't need to do this no more. <laughs> this this is bringing out something to me I do not want to be. <laughs> it's, that's fair. I definitely right. have been that person who's talking shit to my friends in it. Though. And I ain't even great at games. I just be, I be middle of the road still talking shit. Yo, that be, that be the ones that really get you irritated when you ain't good at the game and you know you not. And you win? Oh, I'm talking mad shit. No, it's the oh, greatest. Yeah. I'm finna have the most flawless shit talking to them. You leave <laughs> mad today. <laughs> you, leave, you leave me very frustrated. <laughs> I used to do that with my homies all the time. But like, man, you don't even know how to play, but you still lost, lost. though. That, that is me in 2K every time. I don't play 2K enough. I don't play basketball <laughs> games like that. But So if I get that win, bro, I'm talking so much shit. Because like, I don't even play this. You couldn't beat me? And I'm done. And I'm retired. <laughs> oh, and, and I'm done. Yes, I'm. I'm not, I'm not gonna take. That's oh, how, yeah, yeah, yeah. About, that's how I feel about Madden. Like if I can, because I know if I like, and I don't even play Madden. But if I play some Madden, I, if I'm playing you in Madden, I'm playing you in the at the most basic level that you can play Madden. <laughs> and if I beat you at that level. I am going to let you have it. Like, you could yeah. do all the audibles and switch ups and be like, oh, I see what you're doing. If you tell me that you can see what play I'm doing and I still get a touchdown, you ain't going to live that down. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. you ain't going to that down. You ain't going to live it down. Like, that's your like, point at that point. Yeah, yeah I, like, I, had to, I had stepped away from that. And I'm so glad I'm yeah, back from that game. When niggas start doing that, that's why I stepped away. When niggas started really, when I started picking a play, and you go to the line and somebody be like, oh, 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 I know what that is. And the whole motherfucking <laughs> line, I said, bro, I'm not playing no more because you're not playing regular. You're not, playing, not playing regular football. You're not is. playing regular football. No, you're not mm -mm. playing regular football. And that, and that play is too toxic. Like, yeah. like, Madden to get, like, Madden almost got me shot. Like, that's why I had to stop playing. Damn. You know, like, Madden, you know, because, like, Madden, you bet on Madden and stuff. All right, so never that's mind. how I used sense. to play. Yeah, so that's how I used to play. So it was just like, yo, and we got it to the point where it's like, this is the per touchdown running back, like, per yard type of bet. And so we didn't got to that point. And again, too, I'm a shit talker. So I'm yeah. talking mad shit. And so, like, we at my cousin's house. He brings over, like, his homegirl, and his homegirl got her dude with him. And so, of course, he talking shit like a mother. I'm like, yep. okay. Yep. Okay. okay. You keep thinking you bought that life. And so of course he's like, yo, like, yo, let's put a little money up. But I was like, all right, now nah, we put some money up. What we doing? So he's like, $20 a touchdown. We start there. I let him get one or two. Oh, Cause again, money. I know, I know my Big shit. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, all right. So we go, we good. And so he start losing a little bit. He he now he a hundred down. We didn't play in we the same game. Y'all you game. So you you, you playing a rookie? Like, what the oh yeah, no, no. I would like I was that cold at Madden because that was the only game my brother had. So it was either that or 2K. And I was like, well, I'm not fucking playing 2K. Fuck it. <laughs> I, I don't know. I I had a vendetta against the camera view, and I was like, I ain't got time for this shit. And so That's I went fair. back to Madden. Yeah, and so like the dude got pissed, 
He wanted to up the ante. Now we had 50 bucks a touchdown. And we had 20 for how many rushing yards we're gonna call. So now at the end of the at the end of these three games, that dude owe me five hundred dollars. Fail. And so, so we got it on breaks. the table. So, yeah, so that's the thing. We we on the table with it. It's one of those like, yo, throw your shit down. Like this ain't no get me my money, your shit right there. As soon as we finish, I grab right. and collect and I'm talking shit. <laughs> I mean, if I yeah. want five hundred on you on this game, I'm talking. I'm talking. I'm, ta- I'm talking royal cash. Because at this point, you you add and you just lose the money at this point. Right. Right. <laughs> right. You said he's trying and, to bet more. And so he got mad, wanted to catch an attitude about the course. He wanted. To, he wanted to, you know, fight at first. And I'm just like, bro, this this these ain't the problems you want. You lost, man. Take your L, bro. Like I ain't finna go go roughhousing in my cousin's house like that, nigga. Right. You ain't finna get both of us fucked up. And so he was like, man, you sit sitting talking all this shit. And then of course. This one, the thing come in, man. Sitting here giving me old flimsy ass controller cheating and shit, man. You ain't even, even got that shit on <laughs> fuck, man. Nigga, you know what so I'm saying? I don't even play all man, dog. Man, this is old shit. And I'm just like, bro, why you wrong? Why you being a hoe? And so he's like, yo, bro, don't call me no motherfucking hoe. So I guess that ticked him off. Mm-hmm. And then that's when he wanted to pull his piece out. We had and vastly then, different experience playing Madden. Yeah, and I'm just like, I'm just like so what? what's your what's your plan here? Like yeah, you don't want to get put on the show. You gonna oh, shoot me in my cousin's house? Yeah, like, that's a while. We, but played, that does... we did drinking games to Madden. We didn't do we didn't do this. <laughs> well, I was gonna oh. say that that does propose a good question though, because before we get into our main topic, everybody has had a moment where you almost fought over a video game. Like so, you told yours. Like mine's was definitely over NBA. I mean, uh, Kobe Bryant courtside. Me and my guys used to play that nonstop back and forth. Right, Kobe Bryant courtside. And you know, after a while, you know, say it's it's a uh, you stay on the sticks until you lose. And I remember one time I was on them sticks for a minute. It was me, my guy Fresh, and his brother uh, Justin. And we were just playing, and then we we get the jaw jacking and talking shit, and the next thing you know, it's like, nigga, you can't, you, but you can't. If, if we was outside, you wouldn't be able to be beat me on the court. <laughs> That's the line nigga, right there. And it's all like, nigga, I always beat you. Like we talking shit. It's like, nigga, let's go outside then. And then it comes out. We then we playing we playing basketball like his longest yard and shit. We elbowing niggas and shit. <laughs> like you know what I'm saying? Michael Irvin rules, and now we now we now we want to no, fight. Right? And I'm just like, dog, now we are now we trying to fight. What was the? Digital McCarty, what about y'all? What was I the last game y'all almost I mean, I ain't with? really got nobody because I ain't finna fight you over no game. I'm really gonna tell you that you stupid, bro. Like, you <laughs> you know like but I definitely like like uh in the NFL like the last football I played was NFL. Mm-hmm. And NFL I was undefeated. Like it was impossible <laughs> to touch me. And I was it 2K or Madden? No, say NFL 2K. Yeah, NFL I'm 2K. The NFL 2K. Even even in that even in that little pocket. When was it? Was it Joe Montana football that came out? That was like kind of like the NFL 2K. Was it Joe Montana? It it was all like all star football. I know which one you're talking yeah. about. But yeah. yeah, like even like that, like but it's like it was something about <clears> that that game that game mechanic of NFL 2K and those. Like I was a, I was so cold at them that that's why, like because at that one time when it was Madden and that, yeah, so I was able to go to somebody's house and be like. Well, I bust your ass in 2K, and I am gonna bust your ass in 2K to a point where you like, right. well, let's throw some Madden. No, like, no, nah, fuck, nigga, I don't play Madden. You <laughs> 2K, and you got your ass beat. I already know I'm gonna lose in Madden, so I'm not gonna give you the motherfucking pleasure. You shouldn't have played me in, the, in something I told you I was cold. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, that's so when you, you know you cold to say, yeah. yo, don't play me in this. I'm trying to tell you. Right, and you really want to play me because I'm like, bro, because that's what it that would because if you got both games, and I mean, you know how to play, you played them both. So if I realize right. you got both right. of them, I'm like, no, I don't play Madden, but I play 2K, and I'll beat your motherfucking ass. And like, oh, no, I, bet you, I bet you you can't. And that's how you realize a nigga ain't calling it 2K. He'd be like, well, let's get on the Madden. I'm like, I don't play Madden, I play 2K. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, yep. so it's like, you know, what I'm saying? but I definitely because a nigga wanted to play me in Madden so much, I've definitely had a nigga really linger the whole day, like. Cause you ain't even like steady, like you ain't even cold on like you still play, like I'm like bro, this shit is over, bro. Take a pill <laughs> and leave, bro. I'm not playing you with Madden. I'm not giving you the satisfaction. You will never get it because I don't play Madden. You should have just told me that you're not good at 2K. And I'd be like, oh, I'm not gonna waste my time with you. But you told me that you can beat me, so I'm beat your ass. <laughs> uh, and I used to really like, I was hardcore, bro. Like I, you was fumbling interceptions first. Like you really couldn't touch the bar. Right, you really couldn't. Like I was a monster in two K <laughs> NFL two K. Yeah. What, what about you? Uh, it, it's it's got to be Mortal Kombat. The one that came out in twenty eleven when I was in college. Oh, that was, that was, I remember I was cold with smoke. 
So like, Ooh. you know, obviously he can teleport back and forth. Yep. And I was never great at Mortal Kombat. So when I finally got a character I was cold with and I was winning, <laughs> I told you before, I'm talking mad shit. And I just remember one of my yeah. fraternity brothers, he like, but you can't beat my ass. <laughs> and, I was, and we was like, I was like, bro, this is a game. I'm not going to fight you over a game. But you also said, I can't beat your ass. Now I kind of got to beat your ass. <laughs> I ain't going to lie, though, Dids. That drop uppercut from Smoke is real disrespectful. <laughs> that shit will hurt anybody. It is. It is. Yeah, it and that is. was why, it's... that was what I was, oh, this is perfect for me. I can, I'm basically hopping around trying to beat you. This is great. Like you really also can't get me type nah, shit. It, yeah, it really. T- it, once you're good in the game, it really turns you to a villain. It's yeah, all, I would do. Yeah, fighting games like it's been fighting games. I've never really gotten to because I take my L in a fighting game. Like I might have a streak. Like Street Fighter back in days was why. Like I, I could hold my own in Street Fighter. Like yeah. the older ones, but yeah. but I know I'm gonna take an L though. Like I'm gonna, I'm gonna be on a high horse for like three or four games. And at some point, somebody gonna not, somebody gonna take the L off, and I'm be like, all right, I got, you. all right, now I got you. <laughs> that was a good round. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, but I I have a moment. It, 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 like fighting games, it definitely depends on the person. Like I gotta definitely know you and be like, all right, you don't play fighting games like that. So I know, <laughs> I know the I know I know the mechanics enough better than you that I'm about to beat your ass. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. See that that's the problem of having minimal systems in your neighborhood where you all got to go gather to play the game. Yeah. That's why that's why toxic shit pop off. <laughs> so when you got eight dudes in the room playing fucking fighting games and getting pissed off, it's just like, oh, this is not finna go well. This oh, is, I, yeah. I was I was raised on that. My pops was a gamer. My pops used to beat my ass in Nintendo games and literally laugh loudly in my face. Like oh, yeah. hit home like hit home runs in Nintendo baseball. And I was crying as a child. He really was like, fuck boy. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> really, <laughs> like my, pops was, my pops was a menace, dog. Like she really used to I used to be like, I never understood. So of course you pass that down. You know what I'm saying? If people yeah. come to my house and play the game, I'm on your ass too now. Like, gotta pass that same energy. Yes, indeed, man. Yes, indeed, man. Yeah. So, um, this first episode we have, man, we have we having this is a, a two part crossover. So, this first part I did want to talk about uh, before we do, like I do say, we get into our main topic. Um, you know, as we did state earlier, um, SAG and the Writers Guild have now uh, did a fusion strike on Hollywood. Everything is shut down, and um. I know I should be concerned for the actors, but I'm like, yo, I don't like I got to wait for Deadpool like that. <laughs> two things, two things can be true. Everybody. Two things can be true. Yeah. I, my, my, I've been telling like two things can be true. I want these actors and writers to get paid, but I really want them to get paid faster. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, that way they, we can get back to our regular schedule. Yeah, yeah. They, right. they talk about because I'm like when I thought when you think about it, I was like, bro, we're not gonna have nothing in the movie theaters next year. Like nothing's no. gonna be out. Like, but but what's even worse too is television wise. Like, yo, there's there's a few shows that we know kind of hanging on. Like, you know, like we know, like, hey, this can really like decide yeah. that y'all not coming back because of this strike and it stopped. It's like ah, we decided we're not gonna renew this show. And so that's what I kind of feel bad for too, because I'm like, you never know who they might bring back, who they might not bring back. Yeah, yeah like I feel like I feel like the same because I mean I'm a big fan of Euphoria, and I'm really pissed that they even made an announcement that it's gonna come back in 2025. Because who the fuck cares at that? Point? I thought it was later. Than <laughs> like, I thought it was who, 2027. Is it? What? I don't I thought know what it is. Crazy. They coming back with their own on, kids at that point, nigga. It's gonna be Euphoria, the grandkids. You see, like no, nah, see, I'm like, that's that's how I feel about Stranger Things, like. What what's happening now? They was just, yeah, I'm right. like, what is five about? Right, <laughs> and, that's what, and so it's like, and by the time, because even when you think about the fact that like films and stuff that had to stop right now, like if you on set like out of town and you need the summer weather to shoot, you can't go back to shoot until you get this mm-hmm. weather again. Yeah, you yeah. know what I'm saying? True. Like so, if you stop right now, certain movies and stuff ain't gonna pick back up again till next summer. Yeah. Like, yeah, so we ain't gonna get that movie until the next year. I mean, I think that's why stuff is already starting to be announced that it's pushed. Yeah, because they know like we can't, if we got to stop now that we can't shoot again till we come back to this weather again. One thing, one thing I know people not really catching that is the real issue though that's going on with all of this stuff in Hollywood and everything is that um, this is Tubi's time to take over, and that is not. <laughs> good. Hey, hey, hey. That is not- it's and not a good thing, def- yo. To be definitely in the, around that pole, like <laughs> and to me, it's like, like 
to be bit, to be bit. Y'all out here mocking us, but we are definitely gonna have this. Is what we was waiting for. This is what we was waiting for. Playing with some dumbass selves. I'm telling you, all you got. Next the day you, you see, at, you gonna be at uh, Marcus looking at a clean ass Tubi movie, nigga. Like, Man. <laughs> the day you see Michael B. Jordan on the Tubi feature, I'm like it's over. <laughs> they won. <laughs> <laughs> they won. Tubi has defeated Hollywood. Oh man! It's somebody over. was I think was it uh was it Mark Ruffalo? Somebody actually made an announcement. Like, yeah, it was Mark Ruffalo. Ruffalo. It was saying, like, like, saying like nigga, everybody need to go back to indie films. They like yeah, come on, bro. Come I, on, already, I already started tagging people. I started tagging oh, yeah. people. directors. <laughs> I know. I uh I uh was good. Vader. I was like, yo, these are the people you should tap in with. Then shit, yeah. nigga, come on. Right. <laughs> another, another thing too, even with the independent thing I was talking about, I was like two two things. It was just like you know and and again not to even talk about the folks that's out just you know in solidarity with the strike i was watching you know of course we know like the two movies that's dropping right now this weekend that was a real big box office um people need we need to get back to the old stuff like playing trailers only in the movie theater like people keep asking like how you gonna say movie theaters don't put trailers on the internet that Go see it it in the flooding. movie theater. That I think is we're crazy. flooding too many, flooding too many trailers. That's what there. I'm about to say. We need to the movie the, here. Movie theaters need to stick with a teaser and one trailer. That's it. Because the yeah. teaser is the announcement that is coming. And you like, oh shit! And then you do the official trailer, and then that's it. Too many times we go into a movie, and everything that would have had us going crazy has been spoiled in the trailer. You know what I'm yeah. saying? That's why I, I only watch the like I said. I watch the teaser and I watch the first trailer, and then I just. If it's something that I truly want to watch, that's all. That's all I do. I don't. I don't yeah. watch anything else. Like, I, I think what they messed up on is they don't understand like what what you've already given us. What you've already given us in this day and age of technology is behind the scenes as the movie's getting made. Like we don't need mm -hmm. extra trailers and all that kind of stuff. Like just people like are, I think, I think people, people are, are happy, set photos. Yeah, I think people are happy seeing set design photos and you know seeing actors on set. Mm -hmm. But you don't have to keep rolling out multiple multiple trailers. Just let us know that you're still working on it. Like we didn't get those back in the day like you couldn't see you just mm -hmm. knew that's why it was easier it was very mysterious on the movie coming out because all you got was the trailer and then yeah. the movie but now you can still keep that same format of just giving us a trailer in the movie but you did give you can give us the added background effects of just what happens behind the scenes like we don't need more trailers and no. more you know what I'm saying mm -hmm. like you've already given us enough by just showing us how the movie's being made and exactly. i think that's what's messing them up like on that yeah and and to y'all point Stop announcing movies that's coming out five years from now. I was Stop just about that. to say this. Yes, thank you. Thank this, this you. take it. No, no, take it. This it's, you. It's just, it's crazy. I so much changes within when the movie when you announce it and it comes out. It's just like stop building expectations. Stop letting people build fake expectations. There are so many movies that people get mad at. Like, oh man, I, this ain't what we we was told. We was promised, and it's like, no, you listen to a page that say DC official. Ain't got nothing to do with DC. It's just a nigga <laughs> in Washington. He done put some lies out there. Talk about now road DC, my nigga. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> and it is not deep. That is that is District of Columbia hey. that you listen hey. to. <laughs> that's how you get. That's how you get around the motherfucking. No, uh, it'd be crazy the amount of people who post all those fake like, oh, we saw such and such gonna be in it, such and such. Yep. And it's like, then you mad when they not because they never said it. And it's right. Like, yeah. They didn't confirm it. No, not at all. And I think it goes into because they announced a movie that's going to come out in 2027, 2028. And it's like, well, yeah, niggas going to talk. They got they got to do something to build anticipation. <laughs> like, I mean, and that's what I said. Because I, I am mad about that with Deadpool because I felt like I felt like like Hugh was enough. Like, if you're going to make an announcement that we know we got Wolverine, that's enough. But now that's everybody, enough. you know, you start yeah. telling about other people who going to make appearances and all like, yeah. I, don't, I don't care about those. Like, I'm happy that we on board. And Wolverine is an original cop. Like that's all I need to know. I don't yeah. even know what the fuck the story about. Like you telling me Deadpool and Wolverine is literally in like their regular outfits. Like I'm, I'm here for it. You're saying like it's, it's because we live in this, this participation type era. Like people like, especially like with it seems like with these theaters, like y'all so scared of people to not show up. Right, um, not to go see your movie when it's just like, yo, we've shown you. Like even to like to Bacardi's point, if we'd have just saw them announce like, hey, Hugh, you want to play Wolverine one more time? Sure, and it goes Deadpool three. You had us. 
That's it. tell us when it, tell us when it come out. We going. Period. That's it. But you not feeling confident enough to where it's like, well, we got to put this out because otherwise people will forget. No, no, stop yeah. thinking about them Gen Z cats that <laughs> got so much ADHD <laughs> they don't remember stuff. We know. We going. I mean, like, just, and, and, that, and that's the problem though, because it's like. I, they don't want the actual like suspense anymore of actually like even if you gave somebody a drop now like you don't have to keep it like keep let it go back die let it die back down again and bring the hype again like whenever you really got a bigger drop but like they keep dropping little tidbits here and there that's mm-hmm. unnecessary like you're feeding you are feeding the gen z the adhd that don't care they still don't care because by the time you show that little bit it's gone they still forget about it you know what i'm saying so yeah. it's like you really just feeding them where it's like it just becomes an over like an oversaturation of the movie. You see? Know and yeah. I think that's really like I feel like now when I go to movies, I already feel like I already have that comfortable feeling when I sit down, like I already know this movie. You yeah, see? Exactly. Like, yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying? Um, Even if you don't know the full story, you pretty much sit down and be like, All right, all right, all right, I kinda got a gist of what's going on. I just need to know how this is gonna play out. You know what I'm saying? Cause the damn trailer we're gonna give you a beginning. If you really pay attention to most movie trailers now, they didn't give you a beginning, a middle, and then they gave you and they damn near gave you like the right before the last twenty minutes of the ending, damn near in yeah. the trailer. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. Oh yeah. Dude, so dude like, are you are you much. packing drugs? No, nah, why? <laughs> <laughs> it just looks like you just like, you know, he packing baggies while you was talking. Yeah. It's, it's, it's plenty. Just all right. Let me. Mm-hmm. I was trying to make sure that like he just <laughs> twisting the plastic. Yeah. Like, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. 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 Mm-hmm. Yep. <laughs> my fault, y'all. My fault. My fault. Definitely my fault. <laughs> no, it was just funny because of how you were sitting. It was like, <laughs> what is he doing? <laughs> <laughs> Man, suspicious. Man, he out here being a trashy ass drug dealer. They're like, you pulling up? Yeah, like I'm already out. For, I'm on my way. I'm, on I'm, my on my way. way. <laughs> I'm already outside. Hold on. Yeah, I'll be on 15. I'm 15. I'll be on 15. That's all he keep doing is keep replying to the text. Like, you ain't you ain't here yet. Like, I'm really on my way. Like, I'm just my put my bad dog. My bad. I'm around I'm, the corner, dog. I'm at like, the light. Like, I'm, yeah. Two minutes, two minutes, bro. Like, like come like, outside. There's, and there's a baby up. on the side of the road. Look at that. Oh, damn. Oh damn! <laughs> yeah, see, I was on my, I was on my way. Too soon. No, those drugs drug need to fly, right? <laughs> they gotta go, fam. Right now, that's just this is a perfect Dave Chappelle joke. You know, saying when you talking about the baby on the corner selling. Like, like, uh, <laughs> that or Kevin Hart joke when he was talking about lying to your boss. <laughs> right. Yep. You know what I'm yeah. Bro. It's like that was a baby break dancing in front of the freeway. <laughs> like a whole show. A whole joke. Yeah, those videos, the memes are getting up. I'm definitely done with it, but it feels like there's always a new meme. Like, damn, y'all found something else. Bro, it's not it's not finna die for the rest of the month. They finna be on it, they finna be on it pure to August. Yeah. (laughs) yeah. Which you know what? Yeah, I know we're talking about villains this episode, and I do I I feel like social media will make so many villains in real life. Like oh oh, you yeah. get dragged on the timeline. That will be your your villain origin, one hundred percent. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, I mean, it, oh yeah. Twitter have Twitter would have created a fucking <laughs> league of villains, bro. It would have definitely like. Bro, Twitter bro. already creates a league of villains. The amount of people who be having wrong stuff and they they dig in. Like it, the nigga who bought it is a, is the villain. Is the you know what I'm saying like yeah pure so like he just pure he villain. just. He just prepping everybody up, getting attention men together. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. 